lap time considering the lack of power and some cars back into the pit lane for the first pit changes rangers are back that's for sure okay we have underlegs galatasaray and rangers ready for pit stops all together very tight so it's going to be tight out of the of the pit lane it's going to be a fight but here's Corinthians, and it's Antonio Pizzoni behind the wheel. Galatasaray, super good pit stop. Avoided the car in front of him exiting. Okay, he entered the pit lane first. He's exiting the pit lane first. No changes there. On the throttle. Oh, very tight, very tight. Sorry, that was AS Roma, my mistake. I said Galatasaray, it was AS Roma. He made his pit stop first, and he had a good pit stop. He has new tyres and he's heading for 27 minutes plus one lap of a long, long race with new tyres. So he's looking good, basically. Did, did you expect him to pit early? No, I didn't. It's, it's always difficult to know uh, which tyres they decided to start with. They decided to start with old tyres and go now on new tyres. That's Rangers uh, yeah. at the front of the pit. There's Roma. Very good job from Roma. He avoided the wheel. And he is now down. Basically, AS, AS Roma has done a pit stop as well as Anderlecht, Galatasaray, Rangers, and Alain. Into turn nine then for Roma. In, into third gear. So basically, now AS Roma. Yes, sure. Roma doing well. At the moment, uh, cars are still uh, stopping to do their tire change. We haven't got uh, the real standings. It's all virtual. FC Basel is leading, but they haven't done a pit stop yet. This is Sevilla. Why are so many cars pitting so early, Bruce? Uh, they are all on the same strategy. It's a little bit strange. Uh, all on all tires to start with and uh, putting new tires. Then, ooh, very tight. Atletico Madrid. Exiting just in front of Sevilla, two Spanish clubs. Basel still lead, but they haven't yet pitted. The PSV have. Beijing up to third, they're yet to pit. That's Porto. With uh, Tristan Gomendi, Porto, which has not yet pitted. Still leading Corinthians. So in, within the next lap, we should know who is where. AC Milan just did his personal best because he didn't have any more traffic in front of him. Cars in front of him has they have stopped for for, for pit. So basically, now Milan is going to stay on track as long as he has a clear track in front of him. Once he catches the traffic again, he has to stop. He have to stop. But Milan haven't pitted yet. FC Porto on board. Tristan Kamandi into the first corner, sixth. Down the gears into second. Ooh, fighting the car. Lots of entry speed using more than the track on the exit. FC Barcelona has pitched. Nearly everybody has now. And Milan, I think, there as well. Yes, Milan done. Apparently, it looked good. OK, best lap of the race for Endelect. Again, not by much. Glasgow Rangers as well, same lap time. Endelect was very, very quick this morning. He finished second. He's actually the quickest on track now. But Beijing really are the story of the race too, aren't they? They're up to second now but they haven't yet pitted. Yes, it's going to be difficult to know uh, where they're going to uh, be once they have pitted. I would think they will be uh, behind... Still behind... Uh, yes, Roma. But it'll probably be enough to keep them in overall lead of the championship. Well, having another good afternoon.
in Super League formula. This is round two from the Nürburgring in Germany. Race two of the day. And we are having a great fight between Basel, who's just coming out of the pits with cold tires, PSV Eindhoven, who's extremely competitive, and the Lech, who's the quickest car on the track. Uh, PSV Eindhoven wants to make the move on FC Basel. And basically, Anderlecht, who's the fastest lap, 144.16, tries to make a move on PSV Eindhoven. Anderlecht have made that fastest lap, 144.168. And just behind them, and the, uh, the Glasgow Rangers, who are actually as well as fast as Anderlecht. So we have a very strong pack for in 7th, 8th and 9th position. Porto pitting as well. Porto, who started the day in ninth place in the championship. So the, the window for the pit stop is quite big, but they all went for an, about the same uh, at the same time. AS Roma seems to be leading. Basel, Eindhoven, Anderlecht, Rangers in front of Porto. Ay, 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 is not very tight. So I think Rangers just overtook Porto, not on the track, but in the pit lane. So uh, very, very fast laps from uh, Rangers. And would you believe the championship ladies, leaders rather, Beijing Guan currently lead, but they're yet to pit in race two. Second Porto, third Roma, fourth Barcelona, but that will change when Beijing decide to change their tyres. And uh, Porto, Porto is up there on the classification, but they haven't completed a complete lap after uh, their pit stop, which means they haven't uh, the, the, the lap time has not been quantified yet, so they're going to step back and they're going to be just behind uh, the Rangers, so they should be in 8th position, just in front of Galatasaray. Atletico Madrid have posted a time of 1.43.931, their fastest lap so far. And Beijing is in the pit lane for his pit stop. Beijing have pitted, the last team, I think, to pit. And there he is, and the new championship leader, Davide Rigon. New tyres, new tyres for Davide Rigon. He was quite fast, but he's going to be even faster for the second part of the race. Very good pit stop, didn't lose any time there. He's at 60 k's per hour, he hasn't got the right to be faster, otherwise it's a penalty. Careful there. Once he crosses the line, back onto the power, and he's going to join in the middle of the pack behind the Rangers, in front of Porto. Porto, who's actually in seventh position, in front of Galatasaray. Oh, Basel's gone off. Basel's gone off. FC Basel, who were third, have crashed out. And they have the engine died, which I think means that the race is over for Basel. So, Basically, Roma is going to be the leader. Basel is off. Eindhoven second. Anderlecht third. Glasgow fourth. Beijing trying to eat up the uh, track here. They've just pitted, so they have a little bit of ground to make up. Yeah, Beijing has done a, a, a very good job again in that race. Very good job in every race so far. Very strong. Roma are the race leaders. Just coming up to the chicane. This is where they'll start decelerating. There he goes. Into the chicane, heading for the 12th turn, then a sharp right-hand bend. And then we'll have a much better idea of the way this second race is shaping up into the start finish line. Roma are the race leaders then. Second PSV, third Anderlecht, fourth Rangers, fifth Beijing, sixth Porto, seventh Galatasaray, eighth Milan, ninth Atletico, tenth Sevilla. What? Uh, okay, it's very, very interesting. AS Roma just lapped in 145.6. PSV Eindhoven is in 144.5, the quickest on track, like this morning. Basically, he caught him for uh, more than one second on the last lap. 1.1 second quicker than AS Roma. 
There is 18 minutes remaining for the race.